Hello everyone, Nelsonator here, and today I have a tutorial for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to play Feed the Beast server with us. So what you're going to first do is go to www.feed-the-beast.com. You can find a link to this website in the description. Now keep in mind that this tutorial is for Windows only. If you need a Mac tutorial, uh, I will link one in the description or you can follow the written tutorial on our website. So what you want to do is scroll down and find the download area. You want to download the client. For Windows users, you can do either the jar or the exe, but it's much easier if you just download the exe. It'll be called ftblauncher.exe, and we'll just wait, let's see where it went, okay. And open that up. You can run it, don't worry, <laughs> it's safe. Uh, let's see, I'm open up into my other window. So, um, you'll see two windows pop up, the console and the launcher. Now, all you need to do, you can just ignore the console for now. However, the console will be very useful later if, let's say, you try and launch it and something doesn't work. What you can do is click paste my log to pastebin.com and feel free to provide a link to the pastebin in the comments for this video and I will try and help you out. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you're in the mod packs tab. You might start off in news or something. And you should, by default it should be selected to FTB ultimate, which is exactly what you want. Now what you need to do is create a new profile. So for me, I will type in my username and my password. And it's perfectly safe. It, they don't store your password or username anywhere. Um, so you can feel safe checking the box that says remember password or don't. Um, and it'll go through the Mojang server, so don't worry about your account being hacked or something. So now you can just click launch, and what it'll do is this one will pop up saying download the mod pack. And depending on your internet speed, this could take a while, so what you're going to want to do is just wait for this to download. This is a one-time thing. As soon as you download it, you shouldn't have to download it again, unless you, you know, change with things. So wait for that to finish downloading and we'll see let's do some other stuff but there you go that's basically it and then there you go you have the mod pack installed it's doing some last uh, like minecraft.jar and everything but it should be done relatively quickly so once you have the mod pack uh, what you're going you can connect to the server and play with this right now uh, with just this however what I would highly recommend is that you download the official config files, which I will show you how to do. So there's FTB, and it's just you might see a window setting up. It's set up your environment. Just wait. It might take a little bit longer to start up your game than you're used to, but don't worry. It's it shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> uh, and if you really want, you can watch the console, and it'll show you these are all the mods that are being loaded. So, it might seem like nothing's happening, but don't worry, it's just simply booting up the mods. Uh, see, it's doing all these mods, lots of fun mods to play. Uh, first time might take a little bit longer than other times, but there you go, just like that, we're set up. Uh, now, what you can do, what I would highly recommend you doing, just click connect to and type in Minecraft every day, or whatever you want to call us. Uh, and the server address is ftb.minecrafteveryday.com. And there'll be a link to that server address in the description. Click done, connect to Minecraft every day. And there we go. Uh, this will pop up the first time. You can just press Z to hide the message. And Hey look, there's two people online. And now we're here, we're at spawn. Uh, and you can go off and do your Minecraft thing. I might post videos in the future of me playing on the server, but for now, uh, I'm gonna get situated first. So, this is our spawn. Uh, I'm not gonna show you around the server too much, but it's just as if you're playing on single player. Uh, I think I have. Ignore the fact that there's probably no sound for you guys. Uh, so now, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is download the config files. 
Keep in mind, like I'm playing now, you can play without the config files. However, without them, there will be some minor graphical glitches in NEI. NEI is a built-in... I'm going to turn off cheat mode. Uh, NEI is built-in where you can look up the recipe of any block you could possibly imagine. So, if you've ever wondered how to craft a diamond block... Oh, it's not called a diamond block, is it? Block of diamond, of course. Uh, you can ignore the... Uh, so it's nine nine diamonds and a compressor. You might be saying, what the heck's a compressor? We'll, we'll get into that <laughs> as we go. Uh, but again, if you really wanted to, compressor. What is that? You can click on it, left click, and it'll show you how to craft it. Six stone, a machine block, and an electronic circuit. Not bad. Uh, again, what the heck's an electronic circuit? It's <laughs> It might look intimidating at first, but I can show you that it's, it's all very fun if you haven't played an FTB server before. And if you have, you'll notice that's pretty much the same. We have Thumbcraft enabled. We have a whole list of mods, uh, which you can find on our website. So I'm just going to leave the server and quit game. Now, to get the config files, which will remove those minor graphical glitches, you will want to go to, and again, the link to this will be in the description, mc1.minecrafteveryday.com forward slash config dot zip. And there you go, the config files. So I'm just going to save those to my computer. And shouldn't be too long to download. I already have them installed on my computer, but you'll just download them, open them up with WinRAR or WinZip, whatever the, you have that can open up zip files. If you don't have a program, Google will have to open up a zip file. It's not too complicated. Inside, you'll see a folder called config. Now, what you're going to do with this folder is First, start up your uh, Feed the Beast, uh, that EXE downloaded earlier. Start up the launcher, just like you did before. Uh, there's the console in case you guys want to look at that. And you'll just go to, I'm blanking out right now because I can't, didn't pay attention close enough the first time I did this, edit mod pack, right? Close enough. Uh, <laughs> this is the way I did it because I'm lazy. And then you can click open folder and that'll take you right to a folder where all of your files are at. Uh, this is basically the mods folder, which we don't need right now, but you, if you take a step back, you will see a Minecraft folder, not unlike your Minecraft folder in your app date, if you know where that's at. It's not important. I don't want to confuse you guys. And here's a very convenient config folder. All you'll want to do is delete this, because you don't need it anymore, and just drag and drop this new config file folder right in. There you go. That's it. Really that simple. Now I'm just going to exit out of this, exit out of this, we don't need it. Close, and now I can launch it, and you probably won't know. <laughs> I knew modpack version is available. It's going to say that. Uh, you can just say uh, no. <laughs> Let's go with no for now. Um, <laughs> you can probably say yes and it'd probably be fine, but I don't want to worry. I don't want to deal with it possibly overriding the config files. So. Now just start up, uh, and like I said, you won't really notice any difference uh, once it started up, but when you get to crafting some of the mod blocks, you might find that, especially in NEI, when you're trying to look up the recipe for it, it might not work when you try and craft it, and that is because you didn't download the config files. So if you have them, you're ahead of the game, and there you go. So. This is really the end of the tutorial. Uh, you can also add it to your multiplayer list if you don't want to have it as your main menu screen. Just do add server again. I choose to name it Minecraft every day. You can call it whatever you want. Say FTB, be more specific. Um, and it's just ftb.minecrafteveryday.com. Done. There you go, join server. There you have it. Uh, this is the end of the, tutor or the tutorial. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Ignore all this message, all the messages that I get when I log in because you probably won't see most of those. You might see some of them. And yeah, enjoy our server. Uh, I hope you all have fun. If you need help, I'm Nelsonator in game, and feel free to message me uh, either in game or through YouTube, and I will be happy to assist you with playing with us. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
uh, stay tuned possibly for future videos of me playing on this Minecraft server. Uh, there's also a mining world, so that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.